So I get excited for unboxings in general. I'm a pretty excited guy, but some I get beyond jazz for. And new game consoles are those. They happen like twice a decade. We've got the latest from Nintendo. This is the Switch. It's a culmination of everything they've learned from the original NES all the way on down past the Wii U, which I guess you could kind of call the original Switch, to what we have right here, this $300 portable hybrid console, which I am unhealthily excited to play, which is mostly at this point, as of launch, just like a $300 Zelda machine, which we've got, because I'm really jazzed to play that. And also, I know you see it in frame. I have... The strategy guide for Zelda here. You can judge me, but I like to know where I'm going. And it's, it's open world now. So, okay, enough of that. Here is the Nintendo Switch box. There are two different versions. You can get one with Neon Joy-Con. And Joy-Con is what Nintendo's calling the little controller things on the end of the console that come on and off. Open it up, and it looks kind of similar to like a, a tablet unboxing, which I guess it is. Here is the Switch itself, Nintendo Switch on the back. It's a 6.2 inch LCD display. Uh, it's 1280 by 720, so it's a 720 screen. But when you throw it in a dock, you can get your gameplay up to 1080p. Uh, your games are gonna be stored on 32 gigs of internal storage in here, but also you can pop it on micro SD card and be good to go. Uh, it's surprising how light and thin this thing is for what it does. Uh, it's being powered by a modified version of the NVIDIA Tegra X1. Battery life is like all over the board. Nintendo claims from their own site, two and a half hours to six hours. So it's a big shrug emoji for how long this is gonna last. But if you wanna charge it, you can do it via USB type C. So no more weird proprietary connectors from Nintendo. Uh, let's keep digging in. We've got gray Joy-Con number one, and these are teeny tiny little controllers. Uh, and first impression, they feel really good. There's nice responsiveness. The buttons have nice clickiness. Uh, but man, they are tiny. Uh, but everything feels pretty good. So the idea behind these controllers, I'm sure you guys know at this point, mostly since it's my first time really ever kind of holding a Switch, is you can play them like this. Think of them as like evolved, tiny Wiimotes. They've got buttons on top. Uh, there's also gonna be a dock inside you can connect them to, but you can throw them right on the side of the console itself, which I will do here. Very satisfying clicky noise, which is important to have your clicky noise to be satisfying. Then you can sort of game like you could on a, you know, any sort of tablet or, or iPad or Android tablet with controllers on the side. You can take this with you. It also has a kickstand, so you can prop it up uh, and do some gaming. And if you want to pull off the Joy-Cons and use it as a screen, you can do that. But we got more in the box. Uh, rest of the stuff that maybe you care about, maybe you don't. We'll sort of haul through this so we can it's the important stuff. This is the dock. And you should be able to tell what it does because it's called the dock. Nintendo Switch goes inside of here. The screen goes on the outside and just drop it in and it uh, pushes in pretty easily. And then this can connect to your TV and it gives like a traditional uh, game console. Uh, also inside we've got, this is like a holster. And you can connect the Joy-Con to this thing and uh, do some gaming normally. But be aware, this is not going to charge your Joy-Con. If you want to charge these, you can, and this is sort of the theme of the Switch. Nintendo's happy to sell you an accessory that looks like this that'll charge a Joy-Con. Otherwise, these are only going to charge when they're connected to the dock. And pull the Joy-Con out, push a button on the back, slides out, do that here as well. Uh, and you can also obviously buy more Joy-Con. They've got the neon options you can buy uh, as well. So let's see how this feels when they go in here. This is gonna give you more of a traditional gaming experience. It feels more like a normal controller, something like you'd get with, with an Xbox uh, or a PlayStation. A little bit unergonomic, but I definitely see this uh, working. And again, if you wanna use this, the Switch on a stand, you know, if it stand, stand out, you could be good to go. Stand comes out in theory, like that. And then you can just get, get your gaming on. Uh, other things in the box quickly. We got this thing, these are little straps for your Joy-Con. We got that thing, it's another strap. We got HDMI cables and USB Type-C. Mostly, I just wanna get to playing Zelda, which is the whole, for me, the whole point of this thing right now. Uh, the, the console itself kinda looks unremarkable, uh, but take away this, it is really thin uh, and really light. And it's kinda cool that the games are now on game cards, kinda like cartridges from, from years past, but again, uh, if you want to expand the storage, if you don't want to buy the cards, you can just buy a 
SD card. And also kind of cool to bear in mind if you buy a game card like I've got here for Zelda, it's not gonna like install onto your console, you actually play off the card. So like if you buy a game for an Xbox or a PS4, it's gonna have to install and take up storage. Not so here with the Nintendo Switch. So thank you guys for watching. I know you guys have your choice of Nintendo Switch unboxings. Thank you for flying Southwest and for watching Techno Buffalo unbox the Nintendo Switch. I am just jazzed, just as a fan of Nintendo and a fan of gaming. I'm really excited for, for Mario Kart. I wish that had been a launch title, but I think Zelda will tide me over for a while. Um, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get playing. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed, give the video a thumbs up if you are a fan of Nintendo. Till next time, I'm John Ranger.